Believe it or not, this is a genuine photo fit issued by the Bolivian police. Police descriptions are almost always rubbish. I used to work at a coach station uh, and the police would often come by with descriptions of suspects and missing people and they'd say, we're looking for a, we're looking for a guy. Um, he's medium build, he's a white guy. He's got short brown hair, brown eyes. And he was last seen wearing a pair of jeans. Have you seen him? I've seen him. He's there! He's there! Oh, it's you! It's me! It's everyone! It's stupid! Of course I've not seen him! But imagine, instead, right, they got writers to the description and the police came by and said, oh, looking for a guy, he's, um, he's got a crescent of dandruff on his collar and he has an awkward gait whereby every two steps he glances up and yet when he talks to you, he looks down and nudges the hem of his jeans with a greying trainer. Have you seen him? Well, then I might have remembered. The secret to describing a person or anything else is not to say what they look like, but to describe what about them is distinctive. To borrow John Berger's phrase, the secret is to find what makes them more evidently unique. For instance, take these six miscreants. If I describe a man of medium build with short brown hair and brown eyes, then I could be referring to any of them. So what about each of them is distinctive? With number one, we might describe his drinker's face or his bruised cheek or his boxer's nose. With number two, we might concentrate on his scarf or his forehock. Number three is unusual for his pipe and posture. Number four, no, I can't think of anything for him. Number five wears an earring. Number six has a scar and so on. Ah, you see, but what if there is nothing distinctive about how your character looks? Well, that's easy. Don't describe them. Thanks for watching and good luck with your writing.